Hello and welcome back to my driveway. As you can see, we're still working on the trailer. Uh, today's episode, hopefully, we'll get the front section done with the whole bumper thing, whatever we want to call it. And hopefully we can get the tongue on there. We've got some roofing going on in the background, so that will be that. But anyways, let's just start tackling this and see where we end up today. All right, so we are getting ourselves pretty good distance here. We've got quite a few of these cross braces, at least somewhat welded in. We had some wind issues, so the TIG wasn't uh, gonna work very well. And then the MIG is just the little MIG. But anyways, one of the things, when you press on like one corner of the trailer, you can see how it flexes. And hopefully that front section is going to be able to cure a lot of that problem. So, let's go up there and start taking care of this. Alright, so we got this place kind of cut and sectioned out. And we got two of these 3 inch guys welded together to make the 6 inch, mainly because I didn't want to have to buy another six inch channel just to get cross brace out of it. So we've got her all chucked up in here, relatively straight. And we're just gonna grab the welder and start zapping this thing. That one's in pretty good. All right, so the welding of that front plate went halfway decent. It's a little bit ugly, but now we're coming up to this bumper bar piece. So we'll get that a good zap in there. Then we can test our torsional rigidity again. So, yeah, just got angle iron onto some square tube and That'll be pretty much good. Eventually we'll probably run another tube or something from the square tube back a little bit just to increase the structural of this bumper bar thing. But all in all, I think we're sitting at a pretty decent spot right now. All right, that's looking a lot better. Let's see how we're thinking about to Getting a down bracket there. We might do something like angle iron or something. We can make that work. Whatever we got laying around. Anyways, I think it's about time we get working on the trailer tongue here. Alright, so we got a couple sections of 
some five inch and we're gonna have to get them A-frame style underneath the bed of the trailer here. So I did some, again with a CAD software, lets you get at least in the ballpark a lot faster. We need to come out to 10 foot and we're gonna cut a 20 degree triangle out of the flange. So then hopefully we can just wrench and bend it and it should make a 20 degree angle. So I've already got it lightly marked up here and I've got my triangle now I'm going to go grab the marker to make sure we get it straight all the way across. Alright, so I got the main piece of the tongue on there. Uh, it ended up a little longer on this side than I was kind of expecting, but it's not exactly exact science going on here. So, I'll be able to run a couple seams a weld around here across there and then where the two halves of the c-channel kind of come together we'll be able to zap along there so that's looking pretty good now we'll just have to grab the grinder hit a couple of things get the uh, scale off of it so I can zap it in good. Alright, so this is the other trailer tongue half. It's a little bit hard to see, but right here is where the 20 degree bevel cut is. And then of course up here at the front we got the cut for interfacing with the other half. So, since this is a un inaccurate way of doing things. Um, we might not be at the exact 20 degrees that we need, so we're actually going to fit this up on the trailer itself and go from there. It's like the other side, I already welded the V right where I thought it should go, and it looks like I might have over or underestimated one of the two, but by leaving this one open, we can line up the two halves and we'll be dead center. So, I guess our first step is we need to bend this tongue piece. There we go. Now I'm just going to weasel it up onto the trailer with a couple clamps and we'll see where we're sitting. All right, so we got that second beam kind of wedged up there, beat into place. Kind of had to grind the V down a little bit. So apparently we overdid the V on the other side tongue's probably going to be just a tad bit shorter than I was initially planning on but it's still within about four foot section so that's good enough for my operations now I just need to go through and double check and make sure our bend here is equal to the bend on the other side and we'll be set Alright, so this is looking like a good stopping part point for today. Wind's starting to pick up, so TIG is not very useful out in the wind. But anyways, we got our nice tongue reinforcement. We got our cross block. And we're sitting pretty good here. Hopefully next time we'll be at the point that we can start working on the suspension and this thing can mosey on down the road. 
I'm thinking off camera I'll probably attach our hitch mechanism and we'll be able to go from there anyways thanks for stopping by and watching we'll catch you again later